we're considering alternate theories about the resurrection and we're going to deal with a couple of modern theories first of all just to get into the swing of things and the first of these is that Jesus had a secret twin so this theory is that Jesus had a, a secret and unknown identical twin and the two of them were separated at birth and grew up completely independently of each other then obviously eventually Jesus becomes incredibly famous and the twin uh, hears about him and wants to come and see him and hear his teaching for himself. So he turns up to Jerusalem just in time for that fateful Passover. And when he sees Jesus, he realizes that this actually must be his identical twin. But unfortunately, Jesus is then crucified. So the twin decides that he will take Jesus place and become the Messiah. So he steals Jesus body from the tomb and then he appears to the disciples and they all think that this is Jesus alive from the dead resurrected and it isn't really it's Jesus secret twin but he is kind of tricking everyone so that he can be the Messiah. Um, some people call this the twin substitution theory. Some people call this the Dave theory after the movie Dave where uh, a man who's the impersonator of the president is drafted in to become the president when the president falls into a coma and initially he's completely out of his depth but then eventually he does a far better job than the real president. Well how does this fit the facts of the resurrection and of the things that we know about Jesus? and his life. Well, it doesn't fit any of the evidence because that's the whole point. It's a secret unknown twin. Uh, how did Mary and Joseph not notice that uh, they had actually had twins and that one of them had got lost? Well, they explain this away by saying, well, actually the twins belong to another parent and one of the twins got switched with Mary's son and that was how they grew up separately. But of course, how did Mary and Joseph not notice that their baby had got swapped? And when did this swap take place? Was this in the stable? Was this after the stable? How could a parent not know that their child has been exchanged for another? And then what about the whole fact of this case that he turns up to Jerusalem at the Passover and Jesus is being scourged. He's being absolutely uh, lacerated and receiving such horrific injuries. And then he's being crucified, the most torturous death that had been invented thus far. And this guy thinks, I want to be that guy. Surely he, the most likely thing that would happen if he starts claiming to be Jesus is that he would himself then get arrested by the Romans and he would suffer the same fate. And how was he able to um, trick or deceive Jesus' mother, Jesus' brothers, Jesus' disciples who'd been with him for three years? Even though they are identical twins, they're not so identical that they can fool their own family members. And how did he fake the scars? Did he put, make himself be injured in the exact same way that Jesus had been injured? Did he drive nails through his hands and his feet and spear himself in the side? Or did he use uh, theatrical makeup or uh, how does that work? And if he'd spent his whole life separate from Jesus, how was he able to mimic his voice, his mannerisms? How was he able to replicate his teaching? How was he able to continue Jesus' teaching ministry after the resurrection if he had never heard Jesus' teaching ministry from before the resurrection? And after the resurrection, Jesus, on a number of occasions, does things that echo events that happened earlier in his ministry. So breaking bread with the people on the Emmaus Road, uh, the events on the beach of the Sea of Galilee, mimicking an earlier occurrence with Simon Peter and the fishermen, and restoring Peter three times after Peter had denied him three times. But Jesus' twin wouldn't have known any of this, so how would he have been able to replicate these echoes? See, it doesn't fit the facts. 
if you want to look into this further, there's a debate uh, between William Lane Craig and Greg Cavin about this exact subject. And there is an earlier version of the same theory. Um, this is that Thomas Didymus, one of the disciples known as the twin, was actually the twin of Jesus. And when Jesus was sentenced or knew he was going to die, Thomas said and volunteered and said, I will take your place and I will die instead of you. Or after Jesus did die, Thomas stepped up and took Jesus place. Uh, and thus you had the resurrection appearances. Now, this dates from uh, a second century uh, book called uh, The Book of Thomas, uh, which is a Gnostic gospel. And there's also a book called The Acts of Thomas from the third century, which has a similar claim. But notice these are a century or more after the original eyewitness account. So you can't take these testimonies as being more reliable than the evidence from the time of Jesus and the eyewitnesses of Jesus. And again, you have all the same kind of problems with with Dave. Um, you've got how did they not know the difference? How did the scars get faked? All of these problems are the same. But you've also got the added problem of the fact that the most famous resurrection appearance of Jesus is to doubting Thomas. And yet Thomas had taken Jesus place. So how did Jesus show himself to a guy who was no longer there? How did Thomas show himself to himself? It doesn't make any sense. Not only that, but you've got Thomas mentioned in the list of the apostles in Acts chapter one. So Thomas was still around. So this is one of the uh, modern theories that doesn't fit the facts. Uh, another th modern theory is that Jesus was resurrected by aliens, that they used advanced extraterrestrial technology to raise Jesus from the dead. But again, this raises more questions than it answers. Why did the extraterrestrials want to do this? Why would they travel uh, thousands of light years to raise this one individual who they knew nothing about? Why him? Why a carpenter from Israel? And why travel all this way and, and only do this once and never do it again? And what did they hope to accomplish? After all, Hundreds of millions of people then end up believing in Jesus and believing in God as a result of all of this. Why would aliens want that to happen? Or another theory is that Jesus himself was uh, an alien or an interdimensional being or traveler. He was a star man from another dimension. And that's why he could do the miracles that he did. And that's why uh, the laws of physics and the laws of biology didn't apply to him. And so he could raise himself from the dead. But obviously this doesn't fit any of the facts about his childhood, about his birth, about his life, about his teaching ministry and the things that he taught. It doesn't fit the facts about his death or, or the facts about his resurrection. There's no evidence and there's no plausibility to this theory. So this is a couple of uh, modern theories that people will raise that Jesus had a secret twin or that Jesus was raised by aliens or was himself an alien. But when we compare these theories to the evidence, we see they do not fit the historical data. In the next video, we're going to look at an older theory that has fallen out of favour. Uh, and so tune in for that.